Hi, what's up guys? It's your boy Samoski. Today I'm back again with another tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, things that the top producers in Nigeria do that you don't do. If you're watching this channel for the first time, please do well to subscribe, like the video, and share with your friends. And let's do this. Straight from the lab of HBS Beats Discount. So the first thing I want to talk about here is recording vocal using FL Studio. So a lot of you don't know that you can actually record your vocal using Edison. You can actually put you can actually put Edison. Then uh, let's assume you have a pattern here. You can actually select the area where you want to record. Let's say you're doing the verse. You can actually click on that and then you have to open Edison, set it to on play, click on record. Then when you hit the play, it will start recording so once it's recording you can actually leave it uh, till the end of the bar you're done with recording you can actually stop it then you just have to click recording you can this actually leave it a button over uh, here and it's gonna send the, bar, uh, the the vocal down to the area where you uh, choose to record it so i'm going to do this again showing you another pattern which you can do uh, and then I'm, I'm going to click on here Edison I'm going to uh, maybe shorten the length of this particular guy here and then uh, I'm going to uh, click on record and then once I hit play it will start recording so you're going to notice that once it gets to the end of this bar it's going to take another uh, a, a recording so as you can see jump start so this uh, it's good for uh, a point whereby you want to do different takes like let's say you're you're doing recording your artist and you're not satisfied with the first take you can just tell him to continue doing it so that you can actually pick the one you like so once you're doing you just have to hit uh, post it on the playlist so as you can see you have the start time here which means you can actually hold shift and then slice it's how you want it to be the marker is already there so this is uh, a, a a simple hack which uh, it's done by most uh, top by the top producers which you yourself you don't know maybe you might just be recording one that uh, you do again record you can just set it there and allow the artist to record for as long as he can you can actually do this for guitar or maybe any other instruments which you are recording so that's the first step that's the first thing you the the pros do that you don't do today so secondly like saving your mixer state for example you have some effects uh, just like i have some effects just around here so if for example i have uh, let's say i have an e-piano here and i have uh, uh, the guitar here you get my point i have two instruments here so let's say I, I, I added an EQ uh, onto the, uh, the, the piano. Uh, let me just do, I added an EQ onto the piano here. And uh, I want to add the same EQ, the same effects which I have on the piano over to the guitar. So instead of just loading the, uh, the, the EQ again and start tweaking, I just have to come over to this triangle here. Uh, click on it and then I'm going to hold left click and then I'm dragging down to where I want the preset so as you can see the guitar has the same preset with the uh, piano so let's assume I have a reverb here I've done some settings which I like so I don't have to do it again on the guitar so let's say I uh, the, the guitar has no effect instead of just copying one at a time let's assume i have a lot of presets so it's going to be stressful copying one at a time so i can just easily uh, right click on this and then come to file uh, save mixer state so it's going to copy the same effects i have on that particular track so i just have to rename this one back to the guitar Today. the third thing that you don't do that the pros do it's a referencing your track so let's assume you have your reference track here uh i just have to take away all this so you have your reference track here so you just have to build your track based 
on what you have here so you just have to detect the tempo of this particular song here you can actually slice out any empty event just like this it's an empty event just slice it out and make sure the beat starts or the song starts exactly at the top then you just have to detect the key uh, the tempo of the song so like here now it's 100 i'm aware of it so i have another video which I, i'm think um, i was thinking how to uh, detect uh, the tempo of any song so right now this particular song it's 100 so so you just have to uh, uh, create your own tracks uh, your own pattern based on the pattern of this particular track you can actually control t and then you can create a marker uh, this is the intro as you move on you can actually do that so you can say okay this is the the hook this is where the hook starts from a lot of the pros do this a lot and you should also try to do this today so next thing i want to show you it's uh presets a lot of the pros uses presets so you know nobody cares about the effects you add on the piano what people care about is how it sounds so it's not bad to use a preset it's not bad to use preset a lot of the pro uses presets which you are not aware of so for this case you can just uh, put an eq uh, maybe go to the presets and then select any of the presets uh, let's say we have uh, maybe some uh, I can actually go to the preset and select any of them then if i like uh, the way it sounds then it's good the way it sounds maybe you want to make some little adjustments from the mix just to make it sound better so a lot of the pros do this and you don't know about it Today. so another thing the pro do that you don't do it's the pros works as fast as they can and you you don't work as fast as you can once you get a melody that sounds good you just have to you keep on listening to the melody and you get tired you just keep on listening listen to same melody for hours and hours just because you like the melody so the pros don't do that the pros just keep adding whatever they want to add and the pros don't uh, spend time on making any instrument sound good they just have to uh, uh, work as fast as they can maybe they are looking for kick anyone that comes uh, in handy they can just drag and drop that particular kick then later on when the beat is done they can now start criticizing the sound so that's how they work but you how you work it you like uh, going to your samples checking uh, killing time checking for goodness checking for this checking for that so like now what the pros does they know exactly what they want to use like now, I, I what I mean, like uh, I, I need snare. I can just go pick any snare which sounds close to what I need. Kick and uh, clap, everything, just set it together. Then once the beat is done, I can start changing all the instruments. Today. Before the mastering of their song, they have no effect on on this on the master. No effect on the master. So they make sure that they are they are clicking around uh, minus six db which is somewhere around here as you can hear my voice here minus six db that's where their master should be blasting at then uh, they have no effect then they usually export uh, as a wave file for the mastering process so i see some of you guys your beats are already blasting blasting it's showing it's over zero db so that's why you don't have any headroom for the mastering process today and that thing that the pros do that you don't do it the pros usually go online to get materials not random youtube videos they get a proper material that contains everything that they need but you don't do that you just go on youtube get uh, get a random videos which leaves you hanging on hbsb.com i offer premium classes on music production so you can check out the website or you can contact me 
that might not buy some screen on this video so please try to reach out to me and let's see how you can get started with your online lesson